This is Dubai and that that's the region's first successful air taxi flight right above your head no traffic no noise no emissions just the future of urban mobility lifting off in real time what just happened well in a first for the middle east dubai just tested joby aviation's all electric aerial taxi a collaboration between california based joby aviation and dubai's roads and transports authority the vertical takeoff and landing aircraft fully electric pilot operated is set to become a commercial reality by 2026 crown prince sheikh hamdan called it a new leap in eco friendly urban mobility this isn't just another flashy dubai stunt this is part of a serious infrastructure vision what it does is that it cuts travel time no emissions integrated into dubai's smart city grid backed by regulatory and air space planning dubai is opening its skies not just for show but actually for sustainability and here's the kicker this is just the first of many back home india is still choosing trial sites actually literally the dgca just began field visits in gujarat and other states to identify empty plots where ev tolls might someday fly but now there is actually official momentum india's civil aviation minister kinjarappu ram mohan naidu has confirmed that air taxi trials will begin in delhi mumbai and pune by 2026 he said this as the challenges in aerospace for viksit bharat 2047 conference He announced that more than 35% of aircraft components are now actually made in India and air taxi trials are part of our next leap. Advanced air mobility leaders call this a pivotal moment. Ratandeep Tripathi, who is the CEO of Vajita, says this that India is setting the stage for a transformative era in mobility where the skies become an extension of our daily commute. What is actually the bigger plan? That is to have 50 new airports, 200 plus airports operational by 2047. Drone usage, 10 times growth and import duties dropping, which will help us to boost domestic manufacturing. And while the government sets the regulatory runway, India's startup playbook is already started to kick in. So Matto co-founder Dipinder Goyal is now backing a bold new venture which is called LAT Aerospace focused on building high frequency low cost regional air taxis what is the vision it's very simple think buses in the sky yeah it's as simple as that which are basically 24 seater STOL aircrafts flying out of unused air strips across india's 450 underutilized runways wow no big airports no chaos just air stops no bigger than a parking lot placed closer to where people actually live goel's already invested 20 million dollars into this venture and he's not alone sarla aviation raised 10 million dollars to build shunya India's own flying taxi targeting a 2028 launch. I'm still a little confused about the name but anyway, you guys can drop in your comments on that. We covered Sarla Aviation exclusively on AIM TV so make sure that you check it out and let us know what you think. Moving on, e-plane raised 14 million dollars and partnered with Dubai's Empire Aviation for rollout across India, UAE and Southeast Asia. Then there is of course Archer Aviation which aims to launch in Abu Dhabi by late 2025. Indigo is also getting into the game. Indigo's parent is also eyeing a 2026 electric air taxi launch. Add this to India's Udan scheme launched in 2016 to unlock regional air travel. And you have got the perfect storm which is brewing. Basically that is policy plus private capital plus tech dubai just turned 10 minute commutes into 2 minute flights india still spends 90 minutes stuck between connaught place and cyber hub and bangalore 
well that's a painful area so let's not even go there we all need medication when we get into traffic anyway moving on but the race isn't lost india has scale capital and innovators india just needs urgency and the will to fly dubai has taken off but india well india is getting ready to fly on its own terms we are still building the runway but this time we are not just watching from the sidelines with joby in the air and sarla archer aviation e plane lat aerospace and the dgca on the move the race is no longer east versus west it's actually between the future and who gets there first the era of flying taxis is no longer a dream it's in flight so the only question now is will you take the wheel or miss the lift this is front page by aim tv like share subscribe and always remember think ai think aim and i believe we are all set for lift off